Hey guys, this is Versatop from VST Power hosting on the Money in Phoenix channel. I'm going to show you in today's video tutorial how for Aliens Colonial Marines you can emulate the Xbox 360 controller using a PS2 controller or a PC USB type controller. I'm using a PS2 today. So what I'm going to do is go to Google, type in X360 CE, press enter, go to the download section, and what I want you to do is download the latest app file. So I'm going to downloads, click on this apps, which is the latest, whatever it is, the latest version, download. It's a zip file. Take the contents of that zip file and extract it into your Aliens Colonial Marines binaries Win32 folder. Extract it. Now you run the x360ce.exe. So you run it, okay? It's going to ask you, you want to create this INI file? Say yes. It's going to ask you about this DLL file not found? Say yes. And now it's going to search for your adapter. So I'm using this twin USB joystick adapter, which allows you to connect two or two PS2 or two PS1 controllers to your PC. So it's just searching on the local and also on the internet for some settings for this particular game and for the joystick. Press finish. And now we're finally done. So if everything is working correctly, we see that I am currently connected to port two on my joystick adapter. So it press all the buttons, A, B, X, Y, L1, R1, L2, R2, R3, you know, D-pad, everything is working. Awesome. So what I click, or do next, I click on save, exit, now literally start your game. So with that said, let's jump straight into the gameplay footage tutorial. Alright, so let's do this. So I'm going to press uh, X here, or A, sorry. Then I go to, how do you know this is working? So in the bottom left hand corner you see the B and Y buttons. So that means, yeah, my Xbox 360 emulator is working. So let's go to campaign, let's go to multiplayer co-op, let's change this to like a LAN mode. And then that's fine. I'll create one. And then that's it. Press back. And then uh, create game. So we're going to press um, A. Start game. Press A. And I'll show you momentarily that, yeah, this does work. And I'll show you all the buttons in terms of what does the PS2 buttons translate in terms of the Xbox 360 controller. Okay, select loadout. Great. So here I am. Um, I got to wait about five seconds for it to count down, which is fine. Alright, sweet. So here's my left analog, here's my right to aim up and down, you know. Um, X button on the PS2 controller is for jumping, circle is for um, crouching, R1 is to shoot your nades, and then uh, square, let's see, oops, square is to, um, to reload, triangle is for switching your weapons, and then R1 is for shooting your nades, R2 is for shooting, L1 is for bringing out the radar, and then um, L2 is the, you know, looking down your sight. And then you press down and L on on the left analog, that's for sprinting, and then R3, you press down on it, that's for doing the melee attack. So that is me using a PS2 controller, using the X360 emulator inside Aliens Colonial Marines. Now granted, are you going to get your ass handed by other people using <laughs> PC um, keyboard and mouse? Maybe. Here's the key. Here's the keyboard and mouse, so we can clearly see that I'm moving much faster and I have more precision. But hey, if you want to use a controller, by all means, go ahead and do that. So if you like this type of video, like, favorite, subscribe. Otherwise, if you got any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.